Hey guys, I'm Asif Ali and you're watching CJ our video. Today I created this spiral effect in UE5 Niagara. And if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe it. If you like this video, please like, share and comment. And let's start this video. First of all subscribe my youtube channel and also click on bell icon so you will receive all new video notification. Hey guys so today I found this effect on Pinterest and if I zoom this image it has lots of things but I will create this and specifically this spiral shape how to create this it has this edge it has this glow has this black in the center uh, semi transparent and if i will get the time then i'll create these element also but specifically i want to create this this spiral in this video so let's start this so first i need a mesh so in maya i will take a slender and let's increase the height and the radius maybe in more height and then segment and then this one. okay and I want to move this up here and then I'll take deformer non uniform flare and no and so I want to make it scale down okay and these start ones I can stretch because in the image you can see this is going like this but I think yeah okay so then I'll delete the history and then again I'll go to non-linear non deformers and twist just turn on the edges so I can see and I can twist this actually I did something wrong here let me do undo actually need to decrease this segment for now I will smooth these later so I will just use this one this much and I'll delete this history then twist yeah so now a mm, little more okay so now I can select this. I think we need more curves. So I will rotate this even more. Okay. And now I will duplicate this. Okay. And now shift P and I delete this one. And this one also. So we have this now, and I can make it smoother. So we have this thing even more. Press G again, so it is smooth now. But the thickness of this is not much, so let me just one and then this, this this much then I'll duplicate this and shift P I'll delete this one and delete the history 
okay so now we can delete this we have just this smooth g again so you have now proper thickness and before smooth you need to delete these actually these one okay now you can apply smooth okay and in uv's we have still this mesh i will just delete this and then in uv's just normalize this and if i select this you can see this to top to bottom okay so we have now perfect uv's and perfect mesh I'll just export this and before export I'll put the pivot here okay so Desktop SN Spiral 01. Here I will import that desktop. Okay, it has this material, so M Spiral. And I think, yeah, the size is okay, I think. So now I'll open this and preview my mesh here. So if I take the texture coordinate, connect here, let me make this translucent and lead to sided. Then shift C for mask. So if I take just the red channel, it has this gradient, so I can use sign to make it both side. And similarly, I can uh, duplicate this Control D. Uh, in UE5, they have changed Control W to Control D for duplicating, and then again Control D for sign. And this will be for another direction. Oh, I need to change the channel. Okay. And then I'll multiply these together. So I will have a faded from all sided. From all side. Okay. And now what we need is this glow thing is done now we need a sharp cut here and then uh, uh, this edge glowy edge so let's say if you connect this here in opacity and you take a blue color for now here in emissive so this is your glow layer okay now you want uh, this black layer and that is semi transparent and black so what I'll do I can use the same thing I can use step after this and if I add some value in it preview maybe 0.5 let's try so you have this sharp cut okay the sharp cut but this is exactly square that we are not getting here so what I'll do 
I'll do max. Let's try this. Cut. Connect these here. Oh. Minimum actually. So now we have the sharp cut and this is exactly black but what I need is uh, first I will um, invert this so I have that white inside it and then I can multiply it with like 0.5 so this will be gray okay or maybe 0.2 then I can subtract this from here opacity stop so you can see there is something here and one more thing I'll do I'll take the LERP here and use this thing here okay and the second color will be like zero that means black it's not seems to be working Six. Let's try this point six for now. Oh, need to increase this actually. Let's try if it's working now. Yeah, but the transparency should be lower. So here I will take one more multiplier for opacity and decrease this to 0.5. So we have now glow and a sharp edge, but this sharp cut is actually not working good, but we will work on that. We will make the parameters then we will work. Now we need a glowy edge here so for that you just need to you just need to let's preview this one so this is something and you need a bigger one then you can subtract this so you will get the edges so what i'll do i'll duplicate this control d connect this again here and this will be bigger so the value will be uh, different so I'll just convert it to parameter Oops, convert. so this is like a black uh, center and this will be like a glow edge and glow edge should be higher than this and then we will subtract from glow to this and whatever we will have uh, we will add this on our opacity and then we will multiply this with a blue color this edge then this edge should be boost so we will make a parameter edge boost and then it will add on the emission okay and let's check it in the instance so if I make a instance of this and so boost as uh, let's say 5 and then this is 0.6 if I make it 0.6 and then see we have now edge and we can boost this as much as we want but this thing uh, see this thing is not working here properly 
let me check our UVs first. Why it's not working? Hmm. Okay, it will work. It will work definitely. So we had these two thing uh, R and G. So and we were using this here. So before uh, add using G here, we can add it that. So power, and now we can add it that gradient on that axis. So see already working. Cool. So you can decide how much you want on this axis. Cool thing. So you have now glow, you have now edge, you have now center black. Now you can save this and save all actually. And Niagara. The mesh render. I'll use this mesh. mesh. Then override material. Now uh, let's use this instance. Okay. We just need two particles spawn. Oops, sorry. Spawn burst two particles and spawn at once. Then life should be infinite. And the size of mesh uniform maybe five. And then the rotation because these have the same rotation, they are overlapping each other. So initial mesh orientation. And uh, first, I need to just make it system. I need to rotate this on this axis 0.25, and then we need to rotate this. Actually, I'll duplicate this, copy and paste. And in the second one, we need to rotate this on this axis y but not randomly so i'll just break this then y direction i'll make it uniform a or b so i just need two values so maybe 0.2 and minus 0.2 yeah one will be zero in second you can add it according to you so you have now these two things okay and now you can add update mesh orientation and which axis y axis y axis no z axis y is just showing one now i think both and let's make this local It's rotating very fast and why this bottom edge is glowing first uh, let's make this point one and why is glowing so if i open let's say all if i open my instance This is not working in particles. Okay, let's just stop rotation for now so we can fix this. So this is point two, let it be and then glow edge. Okay, this is 
working like this yeah so okay I don't know why it's happening but yeah it's okay and we can turn on this then we need other because that black part is not visible probably because of black background so I'll take the exponent height for gray so we can see that black okay and also these don't have much uh, coils but we have so it's okay and if I increase the length of this it is now 5 5 5 and 10 yeah now it's better but why both not visible both ribbons not visible both matches or you can do one thing actually if you want to do this instead of this uh, I'll just scale it on x axis so we have this 5 5 10 if I break this 5 5 5 10 and in 5 if I make the uniform a or b so if I take minus 5 and 5 you see we have different axis actually but I don't know why it's not updating here okay let's just undo so okay so I'll just randomize this maybe then point two, point one, point three. Yeah, no, it's at least visible. Okay, I think glow is too much. Let me adjust that. And also the thickness of glow. If I'm increasing, thickness is increasing, but also glow is increasing if I want to because with with this power I can adjust the Y but not X so let's say this is my power underscore Y Y power and similarly I do with I'll do with my X axis X power okay connect this here so now if I set the values 0.136 or increase or decrease I can adjust this now and we can decrease this Still, it's not working like the way I want it. And let's make it one and one. What is x below 0.31? 0.31. Hmm. 
apply this value working in the development check. So I am using this color, multiplying with this, then multiplying again, and then adding. So if I take a saturate node here, maybe then it will fix it. Maybe now. So hmm. it's weird. This is weird. Let me check my table. Actually, these values are here need to be saturated. Or you can use clamp. This is actually not, uh, you can remove now. Now, It's weird, it's weird. And if I, if I just don't add it in the opacity, just add it in the color. Actually, this default setting pretty good. If I just make this, edit this to point two, maybe point three, and if I now edit this to maybe five, you see now it's working pretty good. So if I make it point five, yeah, and make it point one, point two, point one two, point one five. So this is exactly what I need and if I just save this and reset my default settings so save this up save this and reset these settings see still it's showing different output no it's not much different but yeah so yeah so now I got the output what I needed and actually I'll Point zero one, point zero five, point zero six, zero six. Very slow rotation, and I'll just add here. Break. Point two. Point one. Point two. Point three. Okay, so now we can add these things if we want. So this thing and then this flowerish thing. So I quickly add because it's this video is already very long. So just quickly delete this and I'll take a slender F make it bigger. P delete top and bottom scale this okay and I'll add some segments in between yeah that's enough UVs
just normalize and then move this here okay and i'll just make this freeze and export this to desktop smcon01 desktop M gone. I'll preview this mesh in here and let's save all. Okay, this map. Okay, so here we need a texture to make something like these spikes so to give this t aura okay just need to adjust the tiling point sorry point one not this direction actually point one so we have these spikes and we can increase this styling also more spikes so we can randomize this actually so we will do y is 0.1 and x is so we can just multiply append and dynamic parameter so this is your x, this is your y, and then I'll uh, let's this set it default, and then texture coordinate shift C for mask. Need to invert this, then power, then multiply this, or you can multiply first, then use power. Stop. See, already got that particle color. Well, that is opacity. And then additive, unlit to side it. And see, these are random and also faded one here you can see this faded one so we can just make the the, the glowy here the faded here so we got this thing save this browse this and here i'll duplicate this and use this con mesh here and then con material here So we have this i'll use maybe five and then i'll use dynamic parameter and x tiling i'll use from one to two and y tiling i'll use from point two to point one and then this is scale i'll use no random scale one and two Uh, one and eight, not eight. But this is your sharp layer, and this is uh, white blue actually. Why is not becoming blue? Oh, <laughs> I did the wrong thing actually. You need to connect this here, and this will go here. There. okay so this is now blue you can increase to this if you want to make it glowy and then you can copy this again 
and in this one I'll just make it like whitish one and also on this axis y axis I'll randomize it so size is 6 and 12 I'll use this maybe oh here it is 1 and 5 I'll use this need to add scale this thing and also make this maybe point one so we have this I'll also randomize this actually So now I'll just use three or maybe five. Okay, so we got this, and uh, I will actually randomize the rotation rate of this 0 0.05, 0 0.01, and same I'll copy here. So there will be slightly random ones here and these things covering this so if I if I make this first layer 14 1 actually it doesn't work in mesh but you can turn this off and actually I'll make this one this one is covering too much so I'll decrease this radius this length So maybe five. Yeah, now it is visible. Actually, you can rotate it fast. But why these are overlapping, I don't know. I have already fixed it. I don't know why it's overlapping. Still see if I play, yeah, it's it's better in play. So that's my point one if I play. And these faded one is are too much, so I'll first decrease the height of this length and then this point zero two. Slightly faded point zero five. Okay. What else we can add these type of uh, flowers I don't, and there's also glow inside it and then this thing here so what we can copy this paste it here this one and then you can decrease this point one point one 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 and then increase this so there will be a line inside it like this and the size is too much I think okay then they should be like flowers so I think I have now texture this one so let me check the material this is the material I have for flower 
okay so i'll just i have this texture which has these channels okay and i'm using these channels here so i'll just use this flower copy and paste instead of mesh i need sprite Con rate maybe 20 and then con velocity I will take velocity from con here con axis would be y not x and angle this is spread actually this is angle and the color these are blue I will randomize this also and also terms of size maybe 20 and then rate and the form 50 minus 50 and this will be continuous and then there will be a drag or life And the life will not be infinite and then size okay and this drag uh, I'll decrease my point maybe three yeah so we have this flower also and velocity I'll make it random it is 250 now around 250 so 100 and 250 okay and also size is size size will be zero initially so i'll put the key here at point two it is one but at zero it will be zero so here will be smooth transition and then we need to add some glow like this it's all glowy so you can also add this Pause process. So pause process, and just make it infinite. Blue. like this and this center thing is actually too much wider uh, i'll make it point 0.1.1 point one. and then we need some glow inside it so i'll duplicate this flower layer copy and paste here okay and in this i'll use a radial and then decrease the angle maybe 20 and the increase the light maybe three here and then increase the size of 150 and then decrease these things like 0 0.2 0 0.1 0 0.01 0 0.0 0 0.02 and increase the size Maybe three and back two hundred. And I'll delete this sprite rotation and size. Instead, I'll take the scale color, and in alpha, I'll put the key. Sorry, curve. This one, and this will start from point two. And the color overall is very dark actually. The alpha 0 0.2, 0.3. So it is this whole effect is glowing now. I think 0.1 is enough. Yeah. 
so that's it i created this effect now this is not exactly the same just looks really cool but you need to take some time to work on it okay so it takes time actually things takes time Actually, I'll make a change here in the spiral. Instead of cyan, I'll make it more bluish. Yeah. Fine. And actually, uh, in this flower, I will reduce the rate maybe 10. And I have changed this color too much. Maybe around here. Yeah, fine. So I'll finish my tutorial here and that's it. I hope you liked it, you learned something new. If you have any queries, just comment below the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Keep learning and bye bye.